going on everybody my name is Jake and today we're gonna to be going over how to get the heads up display to show up uh, when you're running games in crossover so I want to give a quick shout out to Sathaski, Marzent and Fleet Admiral Butter sorry if I butchered any of your names they created this guide that really allowed regular people like you and me to be able to do these things in crossover so I'll link to the guide in the description so you guys can check it out yourself so this should be a pretty quick little tutorial but it's really nice to have in order for us to enable this in our game Games, we want to come over to our Steam bottle in Crossover. We're going to right click and we're going to open the C drive. We have to find a specific file and this is probably the easiest way to do that. In order to get to this file, we actually want to press Command and the up arrow. And what that does is it's going to bring us up to the parent directory. Whatever folder that C drive was in, it's going to bring us back to that level. And we are going to right click this cxbottle.config file and we want to open it with our text editor and then we want to scroll all the way to the bottom where we can see that we have this dxvk underscore hud and then we have equals to and this is where we can input the information that we want to show up in our HUD. So in my last video, I had everything show up. And the easiest way to do that is to just set it equal to full. And this is going to have every single option show up while you're playing. So you're going to change, make the change and then just hit command S to save the file. And if you have your Steam bottle currently open, you are going to have to reboot that. The easiest way to do that is just right click the bottle and then click quit Steam DXVK test or whatever your bottle name is. And then from there, you can either open Steam or you can go you know right into your game and there we go you can see we have we have all the information we could ever want most people are probably going to be interested in the frames per second counter and possibly the frame times it's also good to have that version of dxvk you're on if you followed the last tutorial where we actually upgraded our dxvk this is a good way where you can actually check to make sure that that upgrade worked but not everybody is probably going to want all of that stuff to be in their HUD. So what we can do is we can come to the DXVK GitHub and this will be linked in the description. We can scroll down to the HUD and here we can see every piece of information that we can put in there. So if you only want the FPS, we're gonna use this code FPS. And we can, we can actually put multiple of these by separating them in a comma list. So you guys can look through this list yourself, decide, hey, that looks pretty cool. I wanna do this, this, and this. You know, So I decided that I want my FPS, my frame times, and the GPU load to show up in my HUD. And that's it. So we are going to come back to that file, the cxbottle.conf, and scroll to the bottom and Here's what we want to do. We want to take the specific value that it tells us to input. We are going to need quotation marks around it. So we're going to do FPS, comma, frame times, comma, GPU load for the configuration that, that I decided I wanted. It's very important that you do not have spaces in the comma separated list. Took me like 30 minutes to figure this out. Type in whatever you guys want to put in and then you want to hit command S to save the file. We're going to come over to our bottle. We're going to reboot it. So we're going to quit it. Now we're back in the game and you can see in the top left corner, we got the FPS, the frame time and the GPU load exactly what we wanted. It's pretty awesome. This game, by the way, runs. It's so much fun. Enter the Gungeon crushes it on Apple Silicon. <laughs> Highly recommend it. And bang, that's it. Super useful, super fun to do. Check out what your stats are doing. And it can allow you to build off of our last tutorial where we actually upgraded the DXVK file. If you want to check out that video, the link will be in the description and there'll be a little card in the top right corner. Uh, definitely check that out because it will fix your stutter in crossover. I've always had stutter. This totally fixes it. It's pretty awesome. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe for more just like this. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.